Well guys, we have two topics for today. Our first topic is we'll go over the current normalized flux graph of Tabby Star for today, and we'll do this by showing you a current graph provided by Dr. Tabitha Boyajian. Our second uh, topic is we'll also look at a longer term graph from Bruce Gary that shows the flux level of Tabby Star over a 700 day period. Listen closely to this last topic. There is something that may be significant happening in the next few months where we can finally prove or disprove a theory. So this is the normalized flux graph provided by Tabitha Boyajian. The red data points are from an observatory in Hawaii and the blue data points are from an observatory in Spain. This data is taken in the R band. So this is the current flux level circled in red and we're still down approximately 0.65% below nominal flux level. And this is pretty much the way it's been since the 4th of July. Something is uh, persisting and blocking a portion of Tabby Star's light and the light blocking effectiveness of whatever material this is is equivalent to the light blocking ability of something on the projection size of 65% of a Jupiter size object. So we will um, continue to uh, watch and monitor this. So this second topic is really important and could be rather significant in the next two to three months. So this is a graph provided by Bruce Gary and it shows the visual magnitude flux measurements of Tabby Star over approximately 700 days. And what's circled in red are some measurements taken over periodic points along the flux curve. What's circled here are measurements taken during the recent last two dimming episodes in May and June of this year. What I have circled here is uh, Bruce's estimate on where he believes the curve will go in the immediate future. So we're going to only take a look at the actual measured portion of this curve up to the present time. First notice that this is another piece of great evidence that the long-term dimming of Tabby Star is accelerating. The curve matches the shape we have mentioned in our previous uh, videos. So let's take a look at the slope of this graph. Notice that the long-term dimming fell one half of 1% in 13.6 months. The next drop, which takes us to the present time, dropped uh, an additional 0.85% in just 9.3 months. So for comparison purposes, this second drop equates to one half of 1% in just 5.5 months. That is a fast acceleration on the long-term dimming, guys. What took 13.6 months not too long ago only took the last 5.5 months to drop an equivalent amount. So if this acceleration rate were to continue, the red curve would be the path of the long-term dimming, and we would have another one half of 1% further long-term dimming in the next two to three months from now. So which uh, curve is it going to take? If it takes the blue curve, the acceleration will slow down, and this can be attributed to maybe an expanding uh, a cloud of dust that is thinning out as it expands. But if it takes the red curve or close to it, you will see something that seems unnatural. The first signs of this will be that you will start seeing normalized flux graphs not returning to their previous nominal flux levels. In other words, their graphs will start to get messed up with uh, respect to what is uh, nominal flux due to this fast drop in the uh, long-term dimming. So in just a few short months, we will know uh, which path it takes. And this may, may be really significant in determining what is causing the long-term dimming. Well, that's all we have for you today. Take care, guys, and we'll see you soon.